Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, styling our form because currently our form is pretty ugly. A couple tutorials ago, we installed uh, Bootstrap version 4. Uh, so we're going to style it based off Bootstrap. Um, if you guys haven't worked with Bootstrap, uh, go ahead and check it out at getbootstrap.com and let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to style our new post.html uh, document first, or template, I should say. <clears throat> uh, right above the form, we're going to add a div. So div, and then we're going to give it a class of, um, we're going to offset by three, and uh, column uh, md, I don't know, six, yeah, six works. Basically, what we're trying to do here is center the document. Um, if we left it without this div class around it, it would expand the whole um, page. We don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is offset three, then give a column, uh, I think that's middle six. And then uh, on the right hand side, there'd be another offset of three. So there's 12 columns in bootstrap. So three to the left, three to the right, and then six in the middle. So there we go. All right, we'll cut that out, bring that down below form, paste that in. All right, now one other thing we wanna do is uh, we're gonna give another div inside our form. And this div is gonna have a class of form group. So oops, div class form group like that. And what this does is groups our, uh, our form together. So we'll go ahead and paste that below the form as P. Um, all right, so go ahead and open up your forms.py file. In here, we're gonna go ahead and style it. Now there's many ways to style a Django form. Uh, there's many different approaches to take to that. We can do it manually like we're gonna do here. Uh, there's several different methods to do it manually. I'm going to show you what I believe is the easiest one at first and then throughout our tutorial series I'll show you different ways to do it. Um, also, there's uh, packages out there like crispy forms that will basically do it all for you. Um, I like to use crispy forms, but once say your client or you want to go ahead and modify the form to look completely different than what crispy form has set up gets a little difficult that way so um then you might want to revert to the method i'm about to show you all right so what we're going to do is we're going to add a variable down here below our list our fields we're going to call this variable widgets all right and it's going to take a dictionary Inside the dictionary, our key is going to be the name of our model field. So if you look at models.py and our post, we got title, body, category, SEO title, SEO description. We're not going to show slug because down here we have slug that automatically create our, our titles automatically convert it into a slug and save to our database. Then we got status and then created and updated are automatically added to the database when either created or updated. So basically the fields we're going to need is title, body, uh, category, SEO title, SEO description, and status. So that's what we're going to style. So our key is going to be title and then a colon. Then our value is going to be what type of field it is. So forms. So we're going inside the forms uh, file. And we're going to go ahead and get text input, all right, because we're using a char field. So char field matches up with text input. Then we're going to give it some attributes, so ATTRS, and that's equal to another dictionary. And that uh, key is going to be the class, and the value is going to be um, a string form control, all right. And this is coming from uh, Bootstrap, all right, because um, um, what was I going to say? I don't remember what I was going to say. Uh, form control. Uh, oh yeah, in Bootstrap, uh, form control. Uh, it's a class and it styles our form. So that's what we're using there. All right. Um, and then down here we're going to add a comma and we're going to do the same thing for body. So we're going to do body as our key and then our value is going to be forms dot 
text area because it's a text area not an input and then we'll give some attributes and that's going to be a dictionary and it's actually going to be just the same as um, the above one so form control all right so that's easy uh, the next one's going to be category and category is a select field because we can uh, category because we select the um, the category itself so it's going to be a select field so forms and then uh, dot and then select and we'll do ATTRS is equal to a dictionary and it's going to be the same it's going to be class and form control since form control is going to be for every field from this point on we're just going to copy it and paste it so we'll take ATTRS and take that whole dictionary copy that and the next one is going to be our SEO title so SEO underscore title and then a colon and then forms and this is going to be a text input and in there we'll go ahead and paste our ATTRS and then we'll do SEO description and we'll do the same thing forms dot text input and in here same thing we'll paste it in and the last one is our status that's also a select field so we'll use a select field here so forms dot select and then attrs uh, actually we can just paste it there we go and that is how we basically style each field all right now if you weren't using bootstrap and you're using your own uh, CSS then I suggest making a class that would handle this and then you can put your classes in here okay uh, so with that being said let's go back to our new post.html and what is gonna happen here is we're gonna want to display the label and the field so the best way to handle this is take this out all right and we're gonna create a for loop so we're gonna say for field in form in form yeah I was gonna say forms but form all right so we're gonna loop through we'll add our n4 down here so we don't forget get an error error if you forget and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, once there we go we're gonna do label and our label is gonna be uh, our field dot uh, label tag label underscore tag and then right below that we're gonna actually add our field so we got a field all right that is it let's go ahead and bring in our uh, new post page and refresh and my server's probably gonna take a while to catch up let's see come on all right, my server caught back up. We'll go ahead and open it up and refresh. There we go. All right, so so now we have a nicely styled uh, um, form here. Yeah, the spacing is a little whacked and it looks a little uh, goofy just being a form. We could add other things to that, and we will once we set up our um, our admin, our custom admin page. And notice the button down here it's kind of ugly let's go ahead and change that real quick uh, if we go to down the button add a class is equal to uh, btn space btn success just like that and then you get back in and refresh your page you get a nice little button down there right there we got a little green button that says save if you guys have any questions about styling your forms please let me know like i said before there's other methods to style on the form and i will cover them throughout this tutorial series um so do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next tutorial have a nice day